Cafe Nero. So they're all over the place. They're all over Boston. It's a coffee spot. I'm kind of a coffee snob. I think it's one of the best that you can get, probably coffee the way you like it. And that's here on Newberry Street. And the reason why I want to bring you guys to Newberry Street is because in 2008, when Celtics won the championship, we did our parade down here. Now, just imagine, like, people up in the trees, people up in the balconies, like, crowd, uh, you know, thick, all the way to the back, like, standing room only, and basically confetti flying everywhere, loud music blaring, people throwing up beers to you while you're out there hanging out. And this, this is where, where I never really, I didn't realize what, like, 2008 meant, like, winning a championship in a city and the relationships you get with that city after you win a championship. And you learn really quickly a week later after, after going through this and throwing out the first pitch at a Red Sox game and everything that is associated with winning a, cha a championship. Grande, um, medium roast. Thanks. More of those? Three, three of those. I wasn't a snob until I got done playing and then I started drinking. You know, it, how you become a snob is like you, you taste something better than you tasted yesterday and then you taste something better than you tasted yesterday again right my road to the nba was so different it was you know like cut as a freshman make the varsity non-scholarship athlete go to junior college and then work my way up usc drafted by the nets you know, th second round, you know, like there's so many guys that are touted as being great from the beginning. It wasn't like that for me. My son was born in 2013, which I haven't played for the Celtics since. I, I stopped playing in 2010. So on top of that, he's never seen me play in the Garden before, which is a big deal to me, right? I never would have thought playing in the big three, like all this, like the emotional side of my kids seeing me play, but it's like, it really moves the needle for me. Oh, you gotta square your feet up. Do it again. I can't shoot that shot. You just got this appreciation that like people in Boston are really into their sports. And then you kind of get that, and then when you move here and you start playing, you realize like there's they they're not interested in teams that can't win championships. And the fans, there's like every fan has like their own personality. Every fan gets to play on the Jumbotron. Those are my people. I sign, we hang out, take pictures, all that. I had a cult following. It just went to a new level when like the White Mamba was created. Kobe came out with a commercial where he jumped over the car, right? And I, we all know he didn't jump over the car, right? But it looked like he jumped over the car, right? So like I did this like crazy parody where like I, I did like a Hot Wheels and I jumped over it and like it wasn't big. But like I deem myself the white mamba at that point. Like you're the black mamba, I'm the white mamba. I'm the white mamba and you're watching Slick.